Hey guys, welcome back to Azar with Nick and John. Check out Azar.space for the audio and video links. Today we're going to take another stab at the Pinocchio trailer that's going to be coming out because Nick and I, your nose only grows when you lie and we didn't lie, but we were completely wrong on our last one. So we're going to talk about that, correct. And by the way, we want to give a shout out to this guy right here that posted and corrected us. We wouldn't even know. And so we thought the Pinocchio character was CG. Clearly not. Maybe they have some CG wizardry in there, but really, really funny stuff. All makeup. And Nick, do you want to kind of fill us in on where we were initially wrong? Yeah. Thank you, Ray Jones, for correcting yes, us. Ray Jones. I, Thank I you. mean, <sighs> it was so <laughs> funny. I, you could just tell we're visual effects people. No matter what, we automatically go straight to VFX because we don't do makeup. <laughs> We're not makeup specialists or, you know, you know, effects artists. Or, I don't, would you call that effects artists with makeup and stuff like it's that? It's still effects, traditional special <laughs> yeah. effects in a way. But I would say this is a refreshing thing because I think the reason we jump straight to CG is because people are doing it so yeah. much now. And I, I was like, one, I laughed because I thought it was hilarious we got it really wrong. And two, I was like, oh, cool. That's a fun way to do it where it – one, yeah. it's, if you get the makeup, well, it's going to look more real because, well, it is real. You know? Yeah. And in fact, yeah. And and so it's, it's funny because just... maybe that's why I thought it was so stiff because may, maybe the makeup, <laughs> I don't know how they do the makeup, but, Can't you know, move, yeah. you know, you know, they like put like a full face mask and they blend the eyes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why he felt so stiff. And like, I just thought it was like a bad CG character because I didn't really see movement anywhere in the face and stuff, but maybe it has to do with the way the makeup's done mm -hmm. and all that other stuff, which caused me to think it was just like a, a bad motion capture or, you know what I mean? Or like they only captured the eyes and a couple points on the head to get the rotation and stuff, but not the full yeah. things. But also we also talked about in that last video, which we took down. You got to believe <laughs> in the director's <laughs> vision, right? Mm -hmm. And if the director yeah. wanted him to be stiff because he is a wooden puff, a puppet, yeah, you know, may yeah. maybe that was the direction the kid, the child actor had to deal with, you know, so I, I, I'm not going to really rip on anything until I see it in action, but I was actually really impressed. And when I went back to watch the trailer, I even noticed the kid's hand was a glove. It was like a glove mm -hmm. with the fabric and you saw Ben's like where the wrist was. Oh, stuff. funny. <laughs> but you know what? Even if the direction from the director was act stiff, maybe that's not even the case. Maybe it just naturally mm -hmm. makes the character look more wooden stiff because yeah, the makeup's on top of the skin. It's just a happy side effect of that. <laughs> part part of this Pinocchio story might be you have that uncanny valley, at least at it's first, true. where you're just like, this looks weird. I mean, one of the cool things, so we, I, would, I wouldn't say ripped on, but we really were harsh on the uh, Call of the Wild movie trailer yeah. when we first watched it. We said, yeah, this looks really weird. It looks uncanny. But then when we, months later, we went and watched the full movie, it was about funky for the first 15, 30 minutes. And then you were just used to seeing the CG dog yeah. and it wasn't weird anymore. And that almost works as a story point to where you start off at, all right, Pinocchio looks really weird. And the, the kids or the people in the story, well, this looks really weird. And after a while, you're like, oh, it's just Pinocchio. You know, it's a regular True. thing. You know, no big deal. So obviously it's something we're just going to have to wait on. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very curious to see this just based yeah. on their artistic And we would love to know your guys' opinion too. We would love yeah. to know if you yeah, guys like sure. the makeup. If you, because originally I thought the only CG character was Pinocchio. I, I it, it totally looked like makeup, the other characters. Because uh -huh. like, you know, you can tell they had like the fur on the face and the whiskers and stuff, which I really liked and enjoyed. Because yeah. in Cats, we got the 3D kind of mixture with makeup and and the visual effects and it just wasn't it didn't hit well mm -hmm. with anyone and and yeah. you can tell by the reviews and mm -hmm. all that stuff like that and they were updating it and but you know i'm actually extremely happy what they're doing with the character and with the makeup and the effects and stuff because we don't really get to see that and i think we need more of that in hollywood too and yeah, I, for sure. I liked how um the new star wars stuff is bringing it back we we begin to see more puppets and actual mm -hmm. sets with Star Wars because they want to kind of bring back the magic of the first films and that's that's what they think is bringing back the magic is just bringing back hand stuff but really the story man <laughs> the story <laughs> but you got to remember I mean there's a lot of really good makeup going on but a lot of it's very subtle to where it doesn't yeah. draw attention to itself so it's there it's always been there and it always has we're talking about like really heavy special yeah. effects makeup and so but. So much credit to the makeup people because they it do amazing fantastic. stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm really looking forward to this. I, I, at first, I thought this was a Disney, like they've been doing all kinds of live action stuff or not mm -hmm. live action, but photo real stuff. And so I thought this was a Disney thing. When I found out it wasn't, I got way more excited because, okay, they're probably going to be, this is, if it's a, another company that's not as established as Disney, they're going to be able to take a much darker 
take yes. on it, be able to take it in a different direction. There's different people, you know, working on it. So to me, that was really exciting. I just love the idea that it's makeup too. So really, really cool stuff. Thank you, Ray Jones, again, for calling us out on this. <laughs> I, I mean, we need that every so often because we're not perfect and we're humans. Yeah, sure. And yeah, it was funny. It was a funny moment where it's like, Nick's like, hey, we got to record that again. He just <laughs> screenshotted me the text. and I just started laughing on mine. I'm like, well, there you, there it is. You know? <laughs> yeah. And it also shows we need to do some more research on most of our topics before we, we do <laughs> which is too. funny because we do like to go in blind and just taking our best, you know, somewhat minorly educated guesses at it. But clearly in some cases it's better to have some more background yeah. story. So you guys let us know if you thought that was makeup by the way, you thought it was CG. You think there's still some mixtures going on. Check out as art.space for the audio and video links, and we'll see you on the next as art.